of us who have not experienced <laughs> that our lives, what is it like to hit somebody as hard as you did just by one on that one play? I mean, it's <clears throat> it's amazing. Like, that's the whole reason I feel like a lot of people play defense is so they don't have to get hit like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, no, nah, it, it was it was a really good feeling. I just get I just get so excited out there, like, being able to showcase my talents along with my brothers out there and knowing that I got their back regardless. Like, I was coming out of the post, like, post to keep a – a <clears throat> roof on top of the house, and I was just, this is my whole mentality was not let him get forward too much. So, Zach, you're on the right. Uh, 12 penalties for 95 yards tonight. A lot, fans had a lot to clean up. What do you kind of think happened in this game after it had been going so well throughout the season? Yeah, like you said, um, we haven't seen that since like <clears throat> week one, week two. Um, it was just the little things. I feel like, like, we had a face mask. I mean, I mean, you can you can help that, but it's just kind of tough on tackling. Uh, like like the PIs, it was just little things like with technique. I feel like that, but those are easy cleanups. Like that's something we could easily fix at practice, and then uh, it'll it'll probably show up again later on in the season. But I don't think to to that extent with with that many penalties. A big picture in in that regard. What's the right way for you guys to process this moving forward? Because yeah, the, you know, first of all, winning's hard. You know, you're ten and zero, and not many other teams can say that. But then again you know, the 12 penalties. What's the right way to kind of process this, uh, given all that? Yeah, I mean, just attacking it at practice, like making sure we're working on that technique. Um, I know for sure in the secondary, Coach Hamp does a good job of, like, reiterating that, whether it's a walkthrough rep or a, um, <clears throat> a live rep during the Tuesday practice, a bloody Tuesday, he'll reiterate just, just not grabbing too much. He'll even put boxing gloves on some guys just to stop from holding too much. But, yeah, I mean, it just, just comes with practice. I feel like we'll attack that a lot this week. I mean, we do up downs every day at practice just for penalties. So, we'll, we'll Coach Lano will definitely hit us with that. And we're on the right. Coach mentioned perhaps a lack of of focus overall as a team uh, tonight. Did you get that sense as well? And if so, how were you able to adjust and improve throughout the game? Yeah, I definitely feel like <clears throat> early on we started off fast, and we were just really just killing ourselves with the penalties. Uh, like I feel like that's that's the thing he was getting at with lack of focus, like. Like within our technique, just uh, being too grabby, I feel like. But at, like I said, it's easy. It's an easy fix. We can uh, regroup uh, after a tough win like that and just just hit it hard tomorrow. Front left, right. Thoughts on just the game breaking ability of a guy like Jordan Birch? Obviously, the, the sack fumble, uh, but also, what was your perspective on on him getting the ball and, and running on the fake punt? That's that's a big dude who can move good. I feel like. Uh, one of the top, if not the top, DNs in the nation. Jordan Birch brings a lot of energy and juice to his team. A great leader, my brother. But yeah, like like having like a front like that, it just makes covering a lot easier. And he always gets the job done. I feel like <clears throat> just like you said, like it's just a key factor whether it's special teams or defense. James, on the left. For as many issues as there may have been in penalties and and some disappointing plays on third down, Kobe. I mean, you guys hold one of the most dynamic passing offenses to their lowest passing yards in over a season. Their explosive receivers don't do a whole lot. How do you feel like you guys were able to contain Prather and Felton tonight? Yeah, I feel like that was that was those were the two snakes going in this game, ten and one. Um we did, like you said, a pretty good job on elim on eliminating the explosive passes and uh really just honing into the coverage, like knowing that <clears throat> we got different leverages and we got a post safety or we got uh rat backers playing right there. So like you said, just limiting those explosives and playing with good eyes and technique is, is what I feel like led to that. Kobe, there's games where it's it's obvious how you guys would, would find motivation or, or get hyped when you got, you know, Ohio State or you're playing for the first time at the big house. Is, is it a challenge to, to create that when the game doesn't necessarily present, like, as, as big of a moment as some of those other games? And do you think that that could have been a factor with some of the focus type stuff that you guys encountered today? I feel like the biggest thing Coach Lanning does <clears throat> every Sunday or Monday whenever we refresh and get to a new team is just like reiterating that this is the most important game because it's the next game. Uh, it's going to define our season whether we win, <clears throat> lose, or draw. Like we have to attack this every week with the same prep as we did with Ohio State to Idaho to Michigan State. Like we have to come in with the same mentality and the same prep that we have to dominate this team and destroy our one on ones. Eric on the right. First defensive touchdown of the year for you guys, three forced turnovers. Just speak to kind of that mentality today and kind of noticeable how much you guys celebrate after those plays. Kind of speak to what that does to your, your defense in terms of maybe bringing energy. Yeah, uh, one of our three main points in our defense is uh, ball disruption. And I feel like um, 
coach does a good job reiterating that the ball, the ball, the ball all week. And we were trying to score on defense. Uh, we remember talking about the Bucks defense and how they scored nine touchdowns. And we wanted to be a part of something great as that. We wanted to be a great defense like that. And I feel like BJ had amazing awareness to scoop and score that. Um, and Birch, obviously, with the strip sack. And yeah, you'll see us celebrating with our brothers because it's, it's all about getting our brothers. Like, we got, our, got each other's back. We got each other's six. Can you explain what the energy is like on the sideline when someone like Janor scores or Josh Connolly gets a two-point conversion? What does that do for your team momentum-wise? It's amazing because you, you see it being practiced at practice. And, like, some schools, like, they'll practice it, but you'll you'll never, like, they'll, it'll never happen. But to see that come to life, like, I, I didn't even expect that with Janoris, but it, it was really cool. Like, you're happy for those guys that worked their butt off at practice to got, to got that chance in the game with Coach Landing trusting them to do that, and then, and then you're just excited with Janoris and then right back with Josh, two old linemen scoring, which was amazing. I'm, I'm really happy for those guys. Thanks, so. Appreciate yep. it. Appreciate y'all. Congrats on the win.